What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, I primarily cover fragrances, but I actually like to throw in some style and grooming tips as well. Because I just feel like at the end of the day, if you smell good, you might as well look good as well. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, so that way when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Alright guys, on today's video, we're going to jump into it. Uh, niche fragrances that I would put that masterpiece label or assign the masterpiece label to these fragrances now masterpiece isn't a term or descriptive word that i throw around loosely as it pertains to anything especially not uh fragrances they are probably in my probably 800 to a thousand bottles whatever it is uh collection is a word that i would probably only ascribe to about 50 or 60 fragrances if i'm being honest it's off the top of my head i don't know for a fact i would really need to go through them I like or at least love everything in my collection, but there are certain fragrances that really kind of get put on that Mount Rushmore of fragrances. And I have 10 niche that I would give a perfect 10 out of 10 masterpiece label to. So if you want to see what's on this list today, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. This first fragrance is a uh, fragrance from this brand that when I first got into fragrances in this collection of uh, this, from this particular house, which I have probably about 15, 16, maybe 17 bottles. This probably would have been at six, seven, eight, somewhere in that range in this collection. Now it's definitely top five, without a question, probably top three. From the brand of Creed, Royal Oud. Royal Oud, this is pink pepper, cedarwood, angelica, galbanum. This stuff smells, smells heavily, heavily. Cedarwood is a major player in this fragrance. You've probably heard people mention that, although it's Royal Oud, it's not, as much of a of a oud fragrance as it is about the other woody notes in here primarily that cedar wood the angelica in here gives this almost earthy feel to the fragrance and i think it just works really well with the with the oud that they use here and the cedar wood the pink pepper gives that little bit of almost rosy freshness in the opening of this composition and it just smells absolutely fantastic sincerely the way I'm dressed right now, or a black tie event in my humble opinion, is what I see or envision somebody wearing when wearing Royal Oud. It's that kind of fragrance. So just very nicely dressed, well tailored. You know, there is uh, style and fashion, and then there's traditional men's style. You know, the guys that wear their pants all the way up on their waist, where their waist is supposed to be, with the more traditional um men's tailoring uh mentality those are the type of guys that i see wearing this and this will be the perfect signature scent for a gentleman like this this is a gentleman's fragrance it's easily a masterpiece a 10 out of 10 in my humble opinion so i recommend you guys check it out from the brand of creed my god this is fantastic guys this is called royal all right guys this next fragrance is from the brand of bond number nine and this is bleaker street Shout out to Kevin Samuels. He said, describe his fragrance as being Prince in a bottle. And this is Violet Leaves, Blueberry, Caramel. Green, it's a very green, fresh fragrance in the opening. And then it has those, definitely those gourmand touches with the vanilla, the caramel, uh, and stuff like that when it dries down the blueberry. One of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. So creative. Uh, this is one of the most creative fragrances that Bond Number no. 9 has ever done. And I'm talking about the juice, but also the bottle presentation. It really does a great job of telling a story about what you're gonna get on the inside of the bottle. 
when you look at the presentation, you know, the violet leaves, you know, then the green aspects. It's just a phenomenal fragrance. One of my favorites from the entire brand. And I have a lot of bond number nine, but this will always be one of my favorites. So easily a masterpiece for me from the brand of bond number nine. This is Blicker Street. I have since said, um, getting this in my collection, that this is probably my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. If it's not my favorite, it's definitely top three. That's a fact. From the brand of Boulder City Victorious, this is Blue Sapphire. Blue Sapphire, Chamomile, Rose, Oud, Lemon, Taguettes. Guys, this is so good. It's so good and for a person like myself that really got into Rose Oud fragrances because I love that Denota Rose, one of my favorite notes, um, this just kind of stands out. It stands out. There's fragrances that I call the typical Rose Oud. This is not that. That candy, lemon, citrus is in the opening with that chamomile uh, in here. It, it just does something and gives me something different that I don't smell in most Rose Oud fragrances. And it is a leapfrog a lot of the other one, Rose Oud fragrances that I held in such a high regard. Without a doubt, a 10 out of 10 for me. From the brand of Boulder City Victorious, guys, check this out. Get a sample, I know it's expensive, but get a sample of it. This is Blue Sapphire. I got this fragrance early on in my fragrance journey. It was one of those niche fragrances when I really started getting niche. It's one of those for me that I had to have, all right? And I've had it for such a long time that sometimes in the hustle and bustle of every day, I don't think about it. But when I put my nose on it, I'm reminded how amazing this fragrance is. From the brand of Roger Parfum, this is Creation E. Creation E, and this is cognac, tobacco, vanilla, and patchouli is some of the main notes. I love the opening of this, that booziness, that cognac, and that Coca-Cola uh, vibe that everybody talks about, definitely present, so it's like a cognac and Coke. Uh, in the opening and the dry down to me is really all about that vanilla and patchouli that's why i, I mentioned all those two of the most prominent notes more the vanilla than the patchouli so i've ever did a although vanilla is not one of my favorite notes this is vanilla done right right here so definitely an easy 10 out of 10 in my book this is just check it out guys creation e all right guys this next fragrance is one i haven't talked about a lot on the channel but for me, where I'm on my journey to creativity is this, and it's such an addictive scent profile for some reason. Everybody is different, their mileage may vary when it comes to what they like, what their nose gravitates towards, but mine gravitates towards this fragrance. From the brand of Zoologist, this is Squid. This is Squid, this is Incense, uh, Inca Cord, Sea Salt, Ambroxan, Ambergris. Guys, again, I, <laughs> it's hard to explain this one. But that inky uh, accord, whatever they've used to create that, is definitely present. It's definitely a, a fragrance that has this sea, very strong presence of like sea salt. Of course, where would you find squid? Um, it, it's just an amazing fragrance. It's so creative and it's such a creative scent profile. I absolutely love this fragrance. I can't get enough of it. Almost every time I walk into my closet to get a fragrance, I just pick this up just to get a whiff of it. It's gonna be one I'm gonna rock a lot in the spring, more spring than summer, but especially this upcoming spring. I love this fragrance. From everything that I look for now in a fragrance, this has it. Easily 10 out of 10 for me from the brand of Zoologist. This is called Squid. All right, guys, a fragrance that has been well touted, well talked about uh, in the fragrance community. I've mentioned it quite a few times on the channel since uh, I've started my channel. From the brand of Frederick Mall, this is Musk Ravageau. Done by the one and only Maurice Roussel. This is cinnamon, cloves, musk, tonka, and vanilla. Heavy on the musk. As musk is the name, is aptly named. You get that from start to finish in here. But the open is more about that cloves, the spices, and the musk. Which for some people is a little bit off-putting. It's a really strong presence of musk and cloves in the opening. Which may not be the most appealing thing to most people. But man, when it dries down and you get that Cinnabon that comes in there from the cinnamon, tonka, vanilla combination in this fragrance. 
It is so good, man. So good. Very masculine, but that sweet presence uh, of the top and vanilla with cinnamon on the dry down just takes that musk note uh, that you get in the opening and just takes it in a completely different direction. One of the best fall winter fragrances ever created, in my humble opinion. An easy 10 out of 10. From the master of this kind of scent profile, because he has a few others that kind of has a... would fit in the same category that he's done that's really good. Maurice Roussel, this is Must Rap With The next fragrance that I will give that masterpiece label to comes from the brand of by Killian. It's this one, Single Malt. Single Malt, this is Plum, Wheat, Vanilla, and Tolu Balsam. I included this on my list of plum fragrances. That plum wheat opening, that the wheat is kind of boozy in here. We get that with the plum uh, and the opening and then that dry down, it gets sweet. You know, the plum and that booziness, you combine sweetness with that. And again, it takes it to the next level. That total balsam is sweet, it's balsamic. This stuff is a masterpiece. A lot of people don't talk about this because this is a discontinued Killian fragrance. Killian, you need to bring this back. It's one of their best they've ever done and it's from uh, of course by Killian I think they released uh, they discontinued maybe about two years ago maybe two three years ago but they need to bring it back masterpiece hands down sing along right, guys this next fragrance is a fragrance that I actually added to the collection I think it was last year <clears throat> and um, I absolutely love this fragrance from the brand of Narcotica I've said it this is those are amber intense this is an amber fragrance and it's straight to parfum. This is amber, tobacco, incense, and moss. This is so good. Gosh, this is amber done well. I love it. It stands out in my amber fragrances because of that green mossiness and that you get from the moss and the cypress in here as well. Guys, this is a phenomenal fragrance. Um, from what I understand, the translation of this is something that has to do with handsome. And I think it's perfect for me <laughs> from the friend of Narcotica, guys. Check this out. This is Doza, Amber Intense. All right, guys, I've used the word masterpiece to describe the fragrances on this list, and I need something even better than a masterpiece to describe this next fragrance. Is that good to me? From the brand of Amwaz, this is Reflection 45. Reflection 45, man. This is myrrh or poppin' accent patchouli. They add that to that jasmine, sandalwood, iris um, that you like from the original um, Reflection, man. It just really... Like I've always said, made this an even more versatile fragrance in the depth uh, that it created by adding those notes that, as I described it, they dirtied up that DNA a little bit. Just took it to the next level, man. Easily a 10 out of 10. Easily a masterpiece right here from the brand of Amouage. Guys, check this out. Reflection 45. And last but not least, I've talked about this fragrance a lot, so I won't spend a whole lot of time on it this time, but... Zerdorf, I gotta say it, 40 knots. This is easily a masterpiece, guys. Easily. Sea salt, ambergris, vanilla, iris, cedar wood. You get all those facets. All those facets. This fragrance is one of the most versatile um, niche fragrances that you can put your hands on. All right, there's other fragrances out there like Aventus, Cedrat, Boise uh, comes to mind when you talk about versatility, a like fragrance transcending seasons. A fragrance that transcends reasons and occasions. This is it. Like I always say, this can teach a, a, a class or a session on how a fragrance should develop and transition. Everything that listed is listed in notes, you're going to get that. And that those notes are going to play a prominent role at various times. That, in my opinion, makes it great for all those different reasons and seasons and occasions that I spoke about. Masterpiece. Masterpiece from the brand of Georgia. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I am probably going to do a part two. I am going to do a part two of this particular uh, video and this particular topic because there are some other fragrances that deserve to be talked about in this same regard. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure, guys, you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.